What's up, Columbus? I'm food scientist Matt Teagarden here with 614 TV, exploring the best food and drinks our city has to offer. So bring your appetite and your adventurous spirit and join me for 614 TV's Tasting Columbus. When this Graders location in Powell opened in 2004, all that development was field. Now a bustling hotspot located just around the corner from the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, a lot of their business comes from the zoo after a long day of swimming and checking out the tigers. Today, we're ready to have a roaring good time tasting a tower of ice cream, hand dip sodas, and a Buckeye themed sundae. Let's get our treat on Central Ohio. Let's go. Graders has always been my favorite ice cream since I was young. It's like different from all other ice creams because it has like a different texture in the ice cream. My favorite ice cream is black raspberry chocolate chip. The black raspberry goes perfectly with the chocolate. I'm here with Shayna Martin-Gornell, the training and development manager for all of Graders. Shayna, thanks so much for having us out today. Thanks for coming, we are glad you're here. Well, tell me a little bit about the development of Graders here in Central Ohio, specifically here in Powell. Looking out the windows here, you would never guess that everything was once fields and Graders was kind of standalone. <laughs> it was in the middle of nowhere back in 2004. Powell has just grown up so much and so many businesses have come here that it really has filled out over the years. And I know you get a lot of traffic from the zoo, right? In the summer, after you're done with your Zubizi Bay, you come on down and get ice cream when it's so hot outside. Speaking of ice cream, I know the ice cream is not made in the Columbus stores. Where is it made and how does it get here? Graders is a company founded in 1870 in Cincinnati and we've been making the ice cream the same way ever since the 1800s and it's all made in the same spot and then brought up to Columbus. Rich history, rich ice cream. Mm -hmm. Got me warmed up to try the 1870 tower. I'm gonna head over and meet David. I'm here with David Lice, the store manager here at the Powell location. He has me in uniform and he's gonna put me to work on the 1870 tower. The secret ingredient is our most famous flavor, black raspberry chip. We have to start somewhere and that is I think what makes the 1870 tower. It's the warm chocolate bundt cake. First thing is warming that up, and then we're going to go ahead and put more chocolate, hot fudge, inside of the bunt cake. So we're gonna fill that up completely. You need a strong foundation for any tower, like that? Exactly. All right, now that we have the hot fudge, we're gonna head over and get some ice cream. But I hear there's a little bit of an art to this. Scooping ice cream isn't as easy as you think it might be. When you pull the scooper out of the well, you wanna shake any excess water off. And then remember when you're scooping ice cream, you scoop from the middle to the edge. Do not use your wrist. You need to use your whole arm as you're scooping. This is a workout. It, it really is. <laughs> whole arm. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I used my wrist. Not bad. Not too bad. Not bad. I'm pretty proud of that. Tell me what we're doing next. Heading back over to the hot fudge because we need more chocolate. Of course. So next thing's next. Homemade whipped cream. This is gonna go right on the top. Make it as pretty as you can. <laughs> Perfect. 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 <laughs> so you can't have a sundae without pecans. At Graders, it's two spoons of pecans, and you just place those on here. And then to finish it off, a cherry on I top. was waiting for the cherry. There's your 1870 tower. We have built this tower up from the ground, but now it's time for demolition. I love black raspberry chip. Yeah. It's my favorite flavor. I love how vibrant it is. That purple color, actually due to anthocyanins, which color a lot of other berries and fruits and things like that. I love this cake, also made in the Greater Bakery, and it just adds that sort of like nice foundation to this. It breaks up the ice cream. The ice cream itself has that great velvety texture. Actually, I just hit my favorite part of this ice cream, which is a massive chocolate chip. You can find a chocolate chip like super small or a giant hunk of chocolate. And that's because it's part of the French pot process. The chocolate is actually poured in as the ice cream is being made. And they use the spatula, the metal spatula, to break up that chocolate. So you don't know what size you're gonna get, but all of it is delicious. This tower, a masterpiece, a marvel of architecture. <laughs> now it's time for a hand dip soda. They're just as good. Every time I come here, I get a milkshake. I just like the fact that you can like customize your own milkshake every time. They're always so nice when you come in and the ice cream is just so delicious. Wow, David, time to go back in time and make some soda pop. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell me a little bit about your handmade sodas. Hey, we don't just go to the fountain and put in soda. We actually make our sodas from scratch here. You can choose nectar, you can choose mint. There are so many different syrups, and then you get to pick your ice cream as well. It's fully customizable. Well, we're gonna do a classic today. We're gonna do the root beer float. We actually use root beer syrup, and that's gonna go in the bottom of the cup. To make sure that it's nice and foamy, we use a little bit of whipped cream in the syrup. So that goes in the bottom of the cup, and you just stir it up. And that protein's gonna allow the syrup to hold the air from the soda water. We add our ice cream, and it's two smaller scoops of vanilla ice cream. And that actually goes on the side of the cup. You wanna be able to actually see the syrup when you're putting the soda water in the cup. Just to make sure that I can do it, I keep the ice cream in place with the spoon. So There's a lot of technique for this, y'all. It works. <laughs> steady stream, that little tiny steady stream is gonna build that bubble up. And you aim it, right? Yes, you aim it down into the soda. Sniper shot. Fill it up about three quarters of the way full, and then you pull forward to build the foam, and you create a beautiful root beer float. There you go, give it a taste. Love the fresh soda, and I enjoy getting a float because it gives you sort of a multi-sensory experience. You can dive in with your spoon, get the ice cream, get a little bit of that delicious foam, and you can get it from the bottom of the cup with the straw where the ice cream is mixing with the root beer that's a little bit tangy, so it's a really nice, complex flavor, not too sweet. This soda is the best float that I have ever had. Now I think it's time for a Buckeye-themed banana split. We are in Columbus after all. We're in Buckeye country, so of course we need a Buckeye Sunday. Stay tuned. I created my waffles around my son and my family's needs, but they had to be delicious, and I didn't stop changing my recipe until I had perfected it. I want people to feel really good about what they're eating when they enjoy a Locust Point waffle. Love breakfast again with Locust Point waffles. We're in Buckeye country, so why not make a Buckeye banana split? You're gonna have the banana, and you're gonna put it in the dish. Scoop of peanut butter chip ice cream, a scoop of Buckeye Blitz ice cream, and then for the fun part, you're gonna put marshmallow on top of both of these flavors of ice cream, drench it in delicious hot fudge, stack some whipped cream on there, pecans, add a smiley face just because we can. Of course, the nose is the cherry. That sounds like some veritable health food. <laughs> I am ready. I need to meet him. Here he is. He's so cute. <laughs> now it's time to eat him. I feel like a kid again eating this thing. <laughs> that banana is ripe. You get that nice banana flavor. This peanut butter chip ice cream has a nice peanut butter flavor. Your ice cream is so dense and heavy. A lot of people don't realize ice cream is a frozen foam. You can have up to like half the ice cream as air. Yours is not like that. Nope. And that gives you that rich, creamy texture. And the pecans add that nice little bit of crunch. I love Absolutely. that you put that on your sundaes. David, these sweet treats taste good any time of the year. Thank you for having us out here today. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming. Don't worry, we'll be back with more to explore. Join us next month on Tasting Columbus. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop these in the fryer. You wanna put them in the fryer? You want me to actually what? Drop them now? You want them to like actually drop them in, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, because I didn't know if you needed like another shot of me dropping it or what. Yeah. Time to head to the Sunday bar to finish building our tower. Let's go. And we're here. <laughs> so 